Good morning, Green Nines. Our topic today is angles and parallel lines. And our goal, I can spot equal angles when parallel lines are involved. And I can figure out other angles. So we're going to talk about parallel lines to start with. And I've drawn a couple of parallel lines here. And I've marked some with stars. Now it's pretty obvious that these two angles here are not the same angle. They're not equal if you take a look at them. Um, this one here with the yellow star is obtuse. It bends kind of backwards. This one here is acute because it bends in. It's less than 90 degrees. Um, so a couple of things over here. Parallel lines are lines that will never cross. That's what you've been told before. Uh, a transversal is this blue line. It's a line that cuts across a pair of parallel lines. So if these are parallel, remember we mark things parallel with two little tick marks like that. So if those two lines are parallel, this is a transversal because it cuts across it. So getting that out of the way, I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration here um, with these two parallel lines on what angles are the same. So it's very obvious that the yellow and the blue angle are not the same, but if I clone this and I pull it down like that, it's also kind of plain to see that there's lots of angles that are equal. So if I pull that right away, this star court lines up with that angle down there, and this star will line up with that angle down there, and those two angles are equal. I can also flip this thing around like that, and I've got other angles that are equal down in here. And remember that yellow star was the same over here, and then this is equal over here. Um, so there's lots of equal lines all over the place when you have a transversal cutting a parallel line. So I'm just going to tell you the, the different types of lines, and you may have heard this before in elementary school. So these diagrams show the special angle pairs. So here, these two angles are equal, um, and they're called alternate angles. You may have also heard them called the Z pattern. And the reason they're called the Z pattern is if I take, I'm going to take a highlighter, I can draw a Z around those two things and um, they sort of form a Z, so we call that the Z pattern. Uh, the next one are called corresponding angles and corresponding angles also form a pattern. They're known as the F pattern. Now that F is kind of upside down, but it's still, you can see that those two little uh, dots in there form the F pattern. And lastly, interior angles. Interior angles form a C pattern. And notice I didn't mark them with the same symbol. That's because interior angles aren't equal. Here's how, here's what we know about these angles in here. Alternate angles make a Z pattern. Alternate angles are equal. Corresponding angles make what we call an F pattern. Corresponding angles are equal. And interior angles make what we call a C pattern. Interior angles add to 180 degrees. So they're not equal. And again, you can sort of see that one is obtuse and the other is acute. So they can't be equal. So now, how do we use these? We've got actually one more to talk about. This doesn't have to happen with, um, with parallel lines. It can happen when any two lines intersect. Um, we have, some people might call this the X pattern. Um, those are what we call opposite angles. And when two lines cross, opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles appear directly across from each other opposite angles are equal. Okay, So what kind of angles do we have in, this di in these diagrams? Let's see if we can spot them. Well, these two things are on the inside of that triangle. Let's see if I can take my marker, and that's not a triangle, they're parallel lines. Let's see if I can take my highlighter and draw around them. Well, that looks like a backward C pattern, which makes them interior angles. But if you don't remember interior angles, I would be just as happy if you called them uh, parallel lines C pattern. So you can call them parallel lines theorem 
C pattern, but those are actually interior angles. Now the next one, let's take our highlighter and we'll draw around them too. Let's see, I got this when we draw around them. Oh, that's definitely an F pattern. And remember the F pattern were the corresponding angles. So let's just write that on there. If you want to call them parallel lines theorem F pattern, I would be just as happy with that as if you remembered the word corresponding. Now how about this next one? Let me take my highlighter again and see what I can do here. If I draw around them, well that's kind of a funny looking Z, but it is actually a Z. So these are alternate angles. And again, if you remembered PLTZ, I would be very happy. Parallel lines theorem, the Z pattern, or they're called alternate angles. Oops, alternate angles. And lastly, if we take a look at that one, um, this definitely makes a big X. Those are opposite angles. And wrong one. So these are opposite angles. They're not actually part of the parallel lines theorem, so don't call them PLTX. Uh, you could call it an X pattern if you want, and I know what you're talking about, but I'd rather you called it the opposite angle theorem, or OAT. Now, finding the value of the indicated angle. Some of these things require that we remember what we learned about triangles as well as everything else, but let's take a look at these. Well, this one the question mark thing is part of, that looks like a Z pattern to me, so that question mark is 97 degrees, and the reason it's 97 degrees is because of the parallel lines theorem, the Z pattern. Uh, over here, let's have a look. Well, those are making a C, and remember, C angles aren't equal. I can't say that that question mark is equal to 125 degrees. The C pattern means that they add up to 180. So I need to take 180 degrees and minus 25 degrees and that gives me uh, 155 degrees. So down to the next one. We've got this 75 degrees here and this angle down here, well this isn't a this isn't a parallel lines theorem at all. Notice that that makes a straight line, and any time we have a straight line, we have 180 degrees. So that little question mark there will be 180 degrees, subtract 75 degrees, which means that it's going to be 105 degrees. And the reason for that is that those are a straight line, also known as supplementary angles. But if you put straight line down, I'll be happy. Now, lastly here, we've maybe got some figuring to do on this one, because uh, this angle's way over here, and we don't have anything right close to it. So, we're going to take this 55 and start trying to find some angles in here. Uh, I know that this angle in here is going to be 55 degrees, and because of the Z pattern, this angle in here is 55 degrees because it's opposite, so that's because of OAT. Now because of the Z pattern, this is 55 degrees in here. Um, so that's 55 degrees because of the PLT Z pattern. And then this over here, again, is opposite this 55 degrees um, because we've got these two lines intersecting. And whenever you have two lines intersecting, opposite angles are equal. So this is going to be 55 degrees as well because of the opposite angle theorem. Okay, now you have some more practice to do on your homework questions.